For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. Did you know 4-H, that's the world's largest youth organization, is into robots? It is, and so are kids. Well, how many kids do you think might show up at a 4-H robotics competition? Maybe a couple of dozen? Not even close. Enough to fill a gymnasium. These are teams from all over the state of Illinois, and they're here to compete. They designed robots that are supposed to act as if they're in the agility competition of a dog show. The robots have to find their way around a course. Of course, the robots have to be built and programmed first. That's what Jessica Serrate and her team members from Aurora did. The cool thing about robotics is that I'm able to program and design my map like, however I want it to go. Jessica's 14 years old. Caleb Widener of Normal, Illinois is just 12. His team came to the competition styling. They're here to win, but the goal is much further down the line. Well, I want to go into engineering, and I think that working with robots and other technicals, I can get some technical skills that I would be needing whenever I go to college and whenever I get to high school and other... Actually, that's the goal of 4-H, too. The robotics competition is designed as a touch point to get all kinds of kids excited about science, technology, engineering, and math, that in hopes of pointing them to a career in one of these fields. And if Ross Schmidgall from Team Power Search is any indication, it's working. I would, I would like more mechanical engineering than the structural engineering. But, you know, electricity is kind of fun, but I still like mechanical the best. The best of the University of Illinois campus on this particular day is when your robot dog does exactly what it is supposed to do. For you by extension, I'm Todd Gleason.